Very Manuel. But let's use him as a case study. How do if uh, Lisa now is a social media manager, which in many ways she might already be and has <laughs> some skills, how does she, you know, approach someone like Manuel who's verging on being a baby boomer to go retire soon and has his business, he's stuck in his ways. How does sh what is that transition to say this can really serve your business and, and how do you speak to that? Good, so that's a great question. First thing is if, if I would be, for example, Lisa's place, okay? So what I would do or what you should do is that first you go to Manuel and you ask and you get to know his business. So you get to know what is your normal clients, you know, what kind of people they are, what, kind of, what is your main product, okay? And, and a bit talk with them. So normally you want to kind of like take a coffee with them, okay, or have a lunch with them and get to know so you know what's going on in their business, okay? And then simply, uh, for example, insurances, uh, are you selling here locally uh, in Palmer, Sarasota? Okay. So one strategy which is great is that what you can do is simply start um, doing small videos, okay? These small videos you can even use with your iPhone. Do you have a Lisa iPhone? Okay, you don't know, but somebody has an iPhone. So, so iPhone or any, actually any kind of phone you can do videos. These videos could be short videos, and actually we can shoot if you want in a bit, but these can be short videos where you share simply, you say, hi, my name is, your name was Manuel? My name is Manuel. Um, this is what I do. This is what my services include. And if you have more questions, please call me on 5566. Da, da, da. So you create really small videos. And these videos, you will upload them to YouTube. And later, you will rank them so that when people search insurance Sarasota, they will find you and not the other guys. So in other words, what we do, and I will share you some examples later, but what we do is that we sh do small content. So all the videos should be like one minute and, um, and less. And it's all kind of like, remember when we talk about authenticity? So you, you don't have to like hire an actor from Hollywood to talk about your business. People want to hear you. So they want to hear how did you start this? Um, how long have you been doing? And, and uh, kind of like how do you serve people? And I would do for example, three or four of these small videos. I would upload these to YouTube, and I would use the title there. Uh, uh, the title would be Insurance in Sarasota, for example. And in the video, what do you say? You never, well, you don't have to say, go to my website, because that's boring for your cl clients. You say, please call me, and you sh always share your phone number. And this is important, you, you teach companies to share their phone number because their clients don't want to go like, oh, I have to go to the website and then I have to go here and I don't know where I'm. You always say, this is my phone number and, and I'm here, you know, waiting for your call and you can ask me any, any kind of question. So this is what people want because the, it will get them closer to you rather than saying that go to my Facebook. So always share, share your thing. And the other thing, I, I would simply start a simple fan page, okay, on Facebook really simple to create and in this fan page you would start sharing small tips on insurances or, or small things that are relevant for your clients and, and so on. So with these kind of things I would start but for you I would uh, maybe start with this video marketing. We can even if we have time we can create your first video here so you already have one video. Is that good?